Focus on your breath and think thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for the people around you. Goodwill for yourself means that you don't want to do anything that's going to cause harm. This is why goodwill leads to thoughts of shame and thoughts of compunction. We don't usually think of the connection, but the connection is very real. If you have goodwill for yourself, you would be ashamed to do things that are unskillful. You realize they're beneath you. The people you respect would not approve. As for compunction, that basically means realizing that unskillful actions lead to harm. You don't want that harm, so no matter how much you may like the unskillful action, you're not going to do it. That's really showing goodwill for yourself. Remember, goodwill is a determination. It's not a natural quality of the mind. It has to be developed, especially if we're talking about goodwill for everybody. It's natural to have goodwill for people who are good to you. And it's also very natural to have ill will for people who have harmed you or harmed people you love or respect. To have goodwill for everybody, that requires effort. You have to set your mind on that. And here again we run into the four qualities of good determination. One, you have discernment. You understand what goodwill really means. The desire for happiness requires that you take karma into mind. Then you're true to follow through your thoughts of goodwill. You don't just think thoughts of goodwill, but you find opportunities to express goodwill in your words and your deeds. You abandon anything that would get in the way of your ill will. You relinquish it, and then you try to keep the mind calm in the midst of all this. Realizing that there are a lot of people in the world who are just not going to be happy. They're not going to create the causes for happiness. But you can't let that get in the way of your de determination to have goodwill for everybody, because it's basically for you. If you have ill will for anybody, you're pretty likely to mistreat them, and then you're going to hide it from yourself, and that keeps you from being able to see it clearly. Whereas if you act on goodwill, if it turns out it was a mistake, it's an honest mistake. Those kinds of mistakes you can look at and learn from. So be determined on your goodwill. Use your wisdom and discernment. So your goodwill leads to as much happiness, genuine happiness, as possible, both for you and for the people around you.